Hi, I'm Bill from CJ Pony Parts. One tried and true way to add horsepower and torque to any vehicle is with a good performance tune. Whether you're talking about a high performance car like our EcoBoost Mustang, or even a utility vehicle like an F-150, a good quality tune is going to add horsepower and torque, especially if you don't mind up the octane a little bit. We had great success with the Cobb Access Port on our Focus ST project car, so today we're going to install one on our EcoBoost Mustang. The Cobb Access Port is an excellent tool for your 2015 EcoBoost Mustang. It comes with preloaded maps to work for a variety of performance modifications as well as different octane and has the ability to be custom tuned as well. On top of that, it can read and clear any kind of trouble codes, has performance parameters built into it, and can also do real-time data logging right on the screen. The kit includes the access port itself, a handy carrying case, two different face plates, a mount for your dashboard, and a cable to connect to your OBD2 port. We'll start by plugging the cable into our OBD2 port. Basically, you're going to follow the headlight switch down under the dash, and it's right down here. Once the cable is plugged in, plug in the other end to the access port, and it'll turn on automatically. Once it turns on, it gives you the basic instructions on how the buttons work. Basically, you've got up, down, the small buttons cancel, large button in the middle is your OK. Until you marry the access port to your vehicle by programming it, you're only going to have two options on the main screen. One's going to be to install your tune, which is basically install the access port. The other one is for troubleshooting. Even if this one isn't married to your vehicle, you can still use it for any OBD2 car to plug in, check a check engine light, and clear it as well. We're going to install the access port. To do that, the first thing you want to do is hit the start button once. You don't want the car to start, but you want it to turn on, you want the dash to light up, you'll know you're doing it right. Now we'll click on install. Next on the screen, it's going to tell you what kind of vehicle it thinks it's plugged into. In our case, US domestic market, 2015 Mustang, EcoBoost, manual transmission is correct. We'll hit continue. Once it recognizes the car, it's going to give you a couple different options for your tune. Anti-theft mode, basically what that does is it disables the car. Uh, for our friends in the military or someone who stores their car for a great period of time, you can load this tune in and even if you have the key, it will not start the car. If you get down to the bottom, you have a valet mode. If you load the valet mode tune, basically it limits the car to about 35 miles an hour and 3,000 RPM so nobody can take it out and beat on it. And besides that, then you have your normal performance tunes. Stage zero basically just marries the tuner to the car. There really are no performance benefits for that, so we're gonna skip that one. The two currently available are gonna be stage one. Once there are some more modifications for the EcoBoost Mustang, such as downpipes, cold air intakes, intercoolers, there'll be other stages available. For what's on the market right now, Cobb's only offering the stage one. Here you can choose between your 91, if you're West Coast and can't get to 93 octane, or 93, which in our case is what we want to go with. The stage one will work with our stock EcoBoost. So you're going to click select. It recommends a battery charger. This does take a lot of time. Your first program is probably going to take roughly about 20, 25 minutes. So you do want to, not a bad idea to put a battery charger on it to make sure you don't lose current because if the battery would die during the tune, you could lock the car up. Continue. Now the access port is basically making sure that the computer is correct for the tune it wants to loan. What it's doing here is basically preparing the computer. What it does is it takes the stock file, removes it, and stores it on the access port, and then reflashes it with a performance tune. Again, this part here will take some time. Right now, it's saving the factory data. This will take a good 10 to 15 minutes. Once it downloads the factory tune into the access port, the car is going to light up. All your sensors are going to go off. This is perfectly normal. Now it's preparing the ECU for the access port map. Once everything's downloaded and prepared, now it's actually flashing the computer. You'll notice it turns to do not turn off. Be very careful. If your battery would die here or you turn it off, you can definitely screw up your car. This is the actual part where the map is being loaded into your factory computer. Okay, now once it gets to 100%, it's gonna say that it's resetting, making sure everything works. All your system gonna turn on, turn off, and your installation is successful. Hit the off key and you're programmed. 
Okay, now that the Axe Port is married to our car, you'll see we have a lot more options. We have gauges, we have performance, along with the troubleshooting, and then the tune at the bottom there. Gauges allow you to monitor what's going on. It gives you additional gauges the factory doesn't provide, as well as data logging. Here you can actually choose the layout. You can have up to six gauges on the screen, or you can have a couple larger ones. We'll go right in the middle, we'll go with three. Click the top to set up. Is your data logging. It actually has a shift light built into it as well. You can change the units. Change monitor allows you to choose what you're actually logging or what you're seeing on the gauge. And you can see you've got a ton of options on here. Pressure sensors, AFR, we'll click that for one of them. Click down to the next one, we'll set that up next. Change monitor. That one will go with boost. We'll set up the bottom one here. We'll go with cool and temperature. There you go. Now with the car running, you can see we're not logging everything, but you're getting real time gauges on the car. You can set up a total of six or as few as one. You can see our AFR changes, our boost pressure changes. Great additional tool that comes in every access port once it's married to your car. And then in addition to the gauges, you have performance parameters. Something you need to play with if you're at the track, definitely don't want to do it on a public highway, but allows you to record your zero to 60, as well as a quarter mile. Like we said before, the access port is a great tool to have for your 2015 Mustang. Get the ability to load the preloaded maps, custom tuning is available, but you also get the gauges, the performance parameters, and even an OB2 scan tool built in. If you have an EcoBoost Mustang, this is a great choice for tuning.